Hello there, I am John Cool with my Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we got here to Lily Cove City. We finished up Route 121. Let me check up my whole map on my Pokemon app real quick. We finished Route 121 right here. So yeah, and I'm in Lily Cove Pokemon. I healed up all my Pokemon, and I have Speedy up front. So we're gonna go up here first of all, not one Lily Cove City. Oh look, Team Aquas here, great. Okay, so let's talk to May, who's in front of the uh, department store, right? The Lyco department store, okay. Overflowing with great merchandise and excitement. A great place to find that something you need. I think I read that last part, right? Here's May. Oh, hey, Gretel, are you shopping too? I bought a whole bunch of dollars and posters. Of course, I've also got a lot of Pokemon, and I'm raising them properly too. Actually, I'm more worried if you're raising Pokemon properly, Gretel. I'll bother you, I'll bother with you so we can show so you can show me your Pokemon Grotal? Sure. This is an optional battle, apparently. But yeah. Um, the Pokemon I've raised won't be beaten by your Pokemon Grotal. Okay, let's just take this battle on, then, if you're that confident, May. I mean, I got all day. A trophy, yes. Okay, I, I really didn't- I thought she would lead off with, like, a Swallow or something, but she may have changed that. I know she leads off with a Swallow in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, but in Pokemon I'm more like, she leads off with a Tropius. Anyway, I'm, I don't really want to switch out, so I'll just take this Tropius and Strength on it. Your Strength on it, of course. That's gonna use Magical Leaf, which never misses, so... Pretty cool. It doesn't do too much, but it hits. I go for the Strength, then it hits. And it's in the red health. I think she may even use healing items this time around. I'm not sure. Oh, I could have quit nice, uh, nice for her, I guess. Headbutt. This should take it down. There we go. Wow, she got a bunch of experience for that one. Looney So you have two grass type Pokemon. Well, Looney Koho is basically a water and grass type. Which is a unique typing. I'm going to go for Peter. Because flying is really the only thing super effective against a Lunikoa that's a grass and water type. Except for poison and bug, I guess. Those are the only two exceptions, I guess. Now that I think about it. She's rendered she raised her team pretty well this time. I'm gonna go for the fly. I'm gonna go for the absorb and hits. It's gonna be neutrally effective because I'm water and flying. Yeah. And it's gonna go for the nature power, nature power turned into swift. It's gonna be swift, but it misses. There we go, nice. And um, I think a surf might not faint it. I'm gonna try a shock wave. That's at least neutrally effective. Okay, it's gonna use nature power again, turn into swift. It hits this time. It does like 10 HP, I think, 9 HP. I'll go for the shock wave. It hits, and ah oh, man, I'll go for the surf down this time. It's gonna go for the absorb so we can regain, regain some HP. And yeah, there we go. And there goes the surf. There we go, nice. That one color is pretty tough. Slugma. Or Slugma, sorry. Not Slugma, Slugma. I'm gonna go for a surf this time around. It hits, and there goes the Slugma. Let's hope this means it. There we go. Nice. Marsh Stomp. Okay, I'm gonna go for my grass type now, which is Shrooms. Yeah, we're gonna go for the Mega Drain. I'm pretty sure this won't only okay, what even though it's four times effective. See? Okay, I'm gonna go for the Mach Punch next. It's gonna go for the Mud Shot. It's gonna lower down my speed. But Mach Punch always hits first. Haha, <laughs> nice. And it faints it nice. Okay. I remember the battle I had with you, Gordo on Mount 103. That battle helped me help you become this strong Gordo, didn't it? Yes, it did. Thanks for like $20.40. I'm thinking of going back to Water Route soon. I've caught a decent group of Pokemon and my Pokedex is coming along, so I'm going to head home and show my dad. Gretel, what are you going to do? Collect all the G badges to take the Pokemon League challenge? Well, while you're collecting badges, Gretel, I, I'm going to work on my Pokedex. I'll come right before you. See you. And she goes off on her Tropius, I guess. Before you go on the 
department store. I, I forgot to do this for the past couple of three or four parts, honestly. I'm gonna actually fly now that I have the Fortress City Gym Badge. I'm gonna fly all the way back home to Waterloo, actually. Because there's an item I'm gonna get from my mom, and I better check and, you know, check up with my mom anyway, so it makes sense. So here I'm back at Waterloo Town. And if I talk to my mom, she'll say like, Oh, is that your badge from dad? Here's something from mom. What is that, honey? A pocket knife someone from Devon gave it to you? Well, honey, how about registering your mom? Okay, now register my mom and pocket knife. Cool. Oh, did, oh, did dad give me that badge? That something here's from your mom. Yeah, Emma coin. Nice. Yeah, don't push yourself too hard, dear. You can always come home. Go for it, honey. And I'm going to take a little rest, actually, out of my home. Take care, honey. Thanks, Mom. I'm off again. And with that ammo coin, I actually want to give that to Peter. That's going to be Peter's hell item. Now, an ammo coin gives you... You basically, if the Pokemon um, who's holding the ammo coin, in this case, Peter, my Pelipper, um, if that Pokemon comes in battle with you, that the prize money at the end of the battle will double. So it's awesome. And yeah, so I did the Macho Base. Okay, which I can switch out as Macho Base. Yep. I don't want to give that to any of my Pokemon. Oh, all my Pokemon have items, I think. Let me just double check. Just check it by this way. Silk Scarf, Soft Sand, Yoko Seed, Ant Coin, Charcoal, and Quick Claw. Nice. And now we're going to fly back to Little Root. Or not Little Root, but Loy Cove. I'm in a Little Root, Steven. Jeez. Okay, Lily Cove City, here we come. Now that we're back here, I want to do a couple of things. First, I want to sell some of my items. That's also like, something good. Let's take it one floor at a time, guys. I'm going to just use the stairs. What does this floor sell? I always forget what, what floor sells what. Potions, super potions. Um, it's probably like five. Let's buy, let's actually make the 12 again, I guess, to make it even 12. Okay. Hyper potions. Let's make it 12 again. Max potions I don't want to buy. Dang it, I clicked out of it, my bad. I revives. Let's buy three more to make it 12. I don't want to buy any more repels, I want to buy super repels. Oh, max repels, nice, I'm buying those. I love max repels. But 20. Nice. Let's sell some items too. I'm gonna sell my not max pills. Dang it. Ah dang it, what am I doing here? I'm gonna sell my card pose. My HP up. My zinc. And oh I have two zincs apparently. My nugget of course. My other zinc. Some other there's some other there's some items I would put in my PC actually. I'll do that like off screen or I'll edit it out later. But we'll see. Okay, what's this voice sell? I. Okay, um, I don't want any, I don't want any X items to be honest. Let's see here. I'll give the protein items and all that. Your vitamins and minerals, I guess. <laughs> you could say. And yeah, there we go. Let's go back to the bomb floor. I forgot to check out what this part of the counter sells. Oh, Pokeballs, yay, nice. And other items, yeah. Um, Pokeballs I'm good on. Great Balls I'm good on. Let's make it even 15, I guess. Just, because I don't know. I like having it that way. 15. Escape ropes, I have oh, three already, yeah. Let's play like seven. Actually, to keep organization back, I'm going to sell all like, my antidotes and parallel seals. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm actually sure. I don't need that weakening because that's the blue food. I don't need this burn heal either. I don't need. Why did I do that? I always click out of it. I don't need these 14 antidotes either. I know I'm, I'm kind of just selling them, even though I could just keep on to them because I'm looking half what I paid on them originally. But you know, I'm kind of lazy. I I don't know. And let's buy like four more full heals. Okay. 
And I'm gonna organize my bag here for a second. Okay, let's see here. Um, fruit, 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 heal, super repel, escape ropes. Revive. Let's put that like right here. Uh, max revival. Let's put that like in front of the max revive. Or revive. Um, max repels. That should do it. Yeah, there we go. Let's go for the next floor then. I think we already checked up the next floor, so let's go for after that. The next, the next, the next floor above that is what I mean. Is this where you get evolutionary stones? Four, four. four. Let's see if I'm right. TMs. Okay. Okay, this one's this one's fire blast. This one's thunder. This one's blizzard, and this one's I think hyper beam. Um, I'm not in the, I'm not really fond of these really powerful moves, but low accuracy. I'd rather stick with like ice beam and flamethrower and thunderbolt and stuff like that. But I think I will buy um hyper beam. But this is hyper beam, so let's just take a gamble. Team 15 should be hyper beam. Dang it, why I do that? Let me check real quick. So, am I right? Yeah, it's Hyper Beam. Can even my Pokemon learn it? A couple more Pokemon can learn it. Here, I'm gonna actually um, come, ba come back to this. I'm gonna pause the video right here, and then I'm gonna come back because I have my notes, and I think I wanna teach Hyper Beam to Speedy, but I'm not sure. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I just checked why I do that. And on my notes, and I don't have any Pokemon in my final team that I want to teach uh, Hyper Beam actually to, so I'll just keep it around, I guess. So now continuing on, let's go up to the next four, four five. I think this is where we can get like stuff for our secret base. Yep, cushions and all that, furniture. And I think this is chairs or dolls. Yeah, a lot of dolls you can pick from though. Again, I'll try to do a secret base video eventually, but I really don't have like the, you know, the motivation to do one right now, <laughs> to be honest. And posters, like May said, you got dolls and posters. I'm either for a secret base or for a room, but I'm more for like a secret base because that's where we can apply them. Although you can put dolls and stuff in your room, I believe, by using the PC system in your room. So I could be wrong on that. Oh, mats right there. Oh, okay. There's a roof. Oh, I'm bone dry thirsty. Don't they set dates for their queen queer sales? I watch TV, but they never show any commercials. Can't run on the roof apparently. When I see the when I see the wide world from up here on the roof, I think about how nice it would be if there were more than just one me. So I can enjoy all sorts of lives. Of course, it's not possible, Giggle. I know, would you be interested in having a Pokemon learn Substitute? Uh, no thank you, because that's not my final move, so either, as a move. But yeah, she'll teach you Substitute for a Pokemon move, I guess. Okay, sorry for the interruption. So let's buy this guy some, that bloodthirsty guy, some stuff. You can also buy Soda Pop and Eliminate here, which is nice. And the lemonade. I think this is like in Pokemon Leaf Green and Sapphire Red, where the, you go on the roof of top of the cell down building where there's vending machines, and there's this little girl who's a little sibling to this older brother guy, and he's like, Oh man, my little sister's always thirsty. And she'll give you teams like, I guess, Reflect and uh, Barrier and White Screen, I guess. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Oh, I'm bone thirsty. Oh, I'm bone thirsty. So I just bought those three things for nothing, but I'll probably still use them. Let me organize them in the bag then, just from all my trouble. Let's put lemonade above the soda pop. And let's put soda pop, or fresh water, below the, um, below the soda pop, but, bef at, but before the super potion. 
there. I might as well buy a lot of those for, just for the fun of it, just so I have like extra healing items. So now after this I should have three lemonades, three soda pops, and three fresh waters. If my math is correct. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. I'm gonna check my bag to make sure it's to my liking of how I organized it. And so far it looks pretty good. And yeah. I'll keep the macho base on my bag just in case, so just so I can do it with experience share, just so I have it around. And let's just go down these stairs, you know? And so, I'm gonna have to cut the part off right here, so let's spend my Pokemon Normal Walkthrough Guide. Part next part, we'll take on the rest of Lurico and hopefully get to where we need to with that Team Aqua guys right here. And there's also Team Aqua guys head for Mount Pyro just like Team Magma is. So this has been Junko again. I'd like to visit again. Goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough Guide. <laughs>